I had to stop and show you these beautiful locks. Isn't that a gorgeous fleece? Okay, back to skirting. <laughs> Okay, it's a different day and I'm back down in the barn and I'm going to work on the white fleeces today. And um, I really am anxious to show you guys those. I'm very pleased, especially with the, the two daughters of Quincy, the ram, the Cordale ram that I used a couple of years ago. So from a um, pedigreed ram and some of our old bloodlines of girls and the fleeces did not disappoint. They're just beautiful. So um, my gray fleeces are all spoken for, and so um, I just thought, I really hope someone takes advantage of these beautiful white fleeces. I'll be keeping a little bit for myself, of course. So I'm, it's an overcast day and I've got the door partially closed, but I can see maybe I'm gonna have to shut it the rest of the way, too much sunlight coming in. But let's get started on that, and I hope you can see some of the sheep in the background here. So I'll just do that real quickly and show you a little bit of the white Coradale fleeces from the 2022 shearing. Okay? I did go ahead and shut that door. Now I've got another door over here that's banging a little bit. So hopefully it's not too distracting, but we're not going to be down here too long. So uh, this is from Sunday. I had it written down as solo, but this is from Sunday. And Sunday is Weezer's daughter. We saw Weezer's fleece just a, a bit ago, and so I would have expected a very nice fleece from the, from her. She's got one of my best fleeces, so uh, we'll do some skirting on that and then show you a close-up and the staple length on this beautiful fleece. And Sunday was a twin. She had a twin brother, and he has gone on to be a breeding ram in another at another farm and his first lambs were born this year. So that's kind of exciting. This was a nice fleece on this yearling sheared 12 pounds, no 11 pounds. So that's pretty good. Some of my, uh, oh, you know, the, the natural colored girls don't shear as many pounds as what a Coradale normally would. Um, and mine are the old style, so they're smaller sheep, not so big. Girls are back there wondering who I'm talking to. This was a coated fleece, and it is a first shear, so it's a lamb fleece. It looks like old lace. bring this up a little closer and show you okay can you see that I think it's focusing yeah. and that must be must be about a four inch staple length I'm thinking isn't that gorgeous beautiful isn't it I am going to, I've just done kind of a rough skirting on this fleece, um, and I think, and I'm going to leave it aired out, or laying out here to air out a little bit, and then I'm going to go back and skirt it again. It's a little bigger than what the small skirting table is that I've got set up, and I'm having a hard time working around it without it ending up down on the ground and dragging in the dirt and in the chaff. So I think I'm going to go ahead leave it lay here it's i've got the door shut so the wind isn't going to blow it off the table and then i'll come back and finish skirting it um, there was quite a bit around you know that would have been along her sides that wasn't under the coat that's very um was very wet and dirty not with chaff as much as just from laying you know laying around in the winter time so um there might only be, a, it'll be a smaller fleece after I skirt away the parts that aren't prime that I'll probably keep for myself. So, but it is, it does look like it's going to be a beautiful fleece and just, um, 
I can't wait to sample it. I just wanted to let you know that I haven't had the chance to wash and sample those two white fleeces yet, but as soon as I do, and if I decide they're going to be available for sale, I'll let you know. Um, they are the only two fleeces I have left. We're sold out of everything else. So if you have any interest at all, please email me at the uh, address weeds. below. Pulling weeds this morning. I just come up from the barn. Um, I was filling all the water tanks, topping them all off. I don't think that the camera is really showing just how black the sky is. And there's a little rumble of thunder, a little bit of lightning. It almost looks like heat lightning. We shot up to 80 degrees this morning very quickly. And I think it has rained somewhere. It smells like it. And also there's a little bit of a cool air coming in behind this. So I hope it doesn't pass us by. We honestly need some rain right now. So a nice shower would be nice, even if it comes back hot but I thought I would show you the beautiful magnolia that from the breeze this morning is already starting to lose its petals. We had one full day of it in glorious bloom. And you might see, if you watched my last video, I haven't made it very far in this bed. A few other things going on keeping me busy, but it'll be better to get in there if it rains, be easier to clean it up. And the reason that there is a wastebasket for the weeds is getting the creeping Charlie out of the garden bed and trying not to have it spread anywhere else. So I didn't even want to put it on the compost pile. The cherry tree is beautiful right now, but it's almost gone by. A lot of petals have come off. Walk up a little closer and show you. Showing a lot more pink this year than it has in years past. I had started to get disappointed that I I had a white variety instead of a pink variety. But isn't it pretty? It's been absolutely loaded with bumblebees, mason bees, hummingbirds, and a few early honeybees, I think. But one reason I think we might be getting rain is you'll notice that there's no bee activity in here right now, no pollinator activity and there are only a few birds flitting around and they're going fast and low so wonder if there is a rain coming this flowering crab apple is loaded with blossoms this year so i'm excited for that this is a beautiful tree and i see it right out my kitchen window broccoli and cabbage under here Hopefully that will give it a little bit of shade, too, if we have these few hot days. Then it's supposed to turn chilly again, so fingers crossed that that's survived. Leave you with this little bronze fennel coming up from seed from last year. And I'm feeling a few sprinkles, so possibility of some rain. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little walk around the garden. You can see how far behind we are, it seems like anyway, for the season. But things are coming. How about your garden? What's happening in there? Leave me a comment and let me know. I wanted to end this vlog with uh, a little bit of a pretty cloud over the back of the barn. And it is a really pretty cloud formation, but it didn't bring us much rain earlier today. And we really need it. But maybe you can hear there's a little bit of thunder in the back ground so maybe we will still get some. I wanted to say too that I did manage to get away on my little adventure that I told you I was going to be taking and it did end up to be an adventure indeed. Enough so that it's going to deserve a video all on its own so that will be coming up here soon I hope. Just to give you a little hint about what it involved, I'm going to leave a few pictures here at the end of this video and then leave you guessing. Thank you for continuing to follow along on my journey. You can find me on Ravelry as My Wool Mitten, and there is a link below to my new email address where you can contact me. 
I still don't have the Instagram situation straightened out. So for now, it's either through the email or, of course, you can leave a comment here on YouTube or you can contact me on Ravelry if you uh, participate in Ravelry at all. So I hope to be back real soon to fill you in on what the adventure involved. Take care and have a wonderful week wherever you're at.